Hello everybody, Ray Pedrasa on the McAllen Cable Network. It's time to head back to class and today we're going to talk to you about back to school safety on the road and joining me right now uh, to talk more about that is Sergeant Medrano with McAllen ISD PD. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. All right. A lot of people, uh, of course, uh, are going to be on the road and so we're going to remind our drivers to be extra cautious, particularly in the school zones, right? That is correct. Um, we just want to make sure that the parents know that they obey all the traffic signs and signals and follow the uh, speed zone. Um, come a little bit early if you want to drop off your children. Uh, we understand that, that uh, the parents want to park for a little bit, especially the, the new students that are coming in and want to get down and, and uh, walk them to their class. So we, we understand that very much. However, uh, come a little bit early if you want to do that. Um, if you are running late, it can, can cause accidents. Uh, does cause you to speed a little bit and uh, we are out there right now enforcing all those those uh, traffic laws. All right and speeders beware because I think uh, there's a misconception out there that the ISD PD doesn't give speeding tickets and your answer is yes you do right? That is correct we do have a memor memorandum of understanding with the city that uh, allows us to uh, write citations for any kind of uh, traffic violation uh, to include any arrests made on on the roadway. All right, and one other thing that we want to focus on, I think that uh, you know, parents who work, uh, unfortunately have to leave their kids at school kind of early, and they have to be over a certain age to be left unattended, is that right? Could you explain that a little bit? Well, um, in that sense, it's more of the vehicle you know, that we're talking about. Oh, okay. Um, parents who, who, who come in and, and they want to get their child from school a little bit early and usually leave their, their other children inside the vehicle. Um, and it's uh, anybody under the age of seven, you cannot leave any child inside the vehicle, okay? Uh, for the parents, it, they need to be with someone over the age of 14 years of. Okay, very good. But what about uh, dropping off a child? Right, uh, we do have a uh, patrol that starts at seven in the morning. We also have the city of McAllen oh, okay. that are patrolling. Um, and teachers and, and other staff members that are there uh, even earlier than that, so um, and we understand that parents have to get to, to work early on time too, and, and um, there's always somebody there. Okay. The important important thing is though is to leave them with someone there. Right. Correct. Okay. Just to make sure that they don't drop off without seeing any kind of adult uh, staff member. Okay. Parents are always concerned about school safety on campus as well. I guess a, a word of advice uh, for the parents is to tell their children if they notice anything suspicious on campus to call you guys. Right. Correct. Correct. We do have. Uh, officers on our high schools and our middle schools um, and we urge the, uh, the the kids if you do see something suspicious we do have a crime stoppers hotline as well we're 630 bite okay and uh, if you do see something suspicious call in all right Sergeant Medrano anything else we should mention um, I wanted to um, to mention a little bit about the the, the buses um, when they're on the roadway uh, just watch out for the for the signs that they have up um, do not pass the uh, the buses and it's just for the safety of the people getting off the bus. Okay, very good. Sergeant Madanon, thanks so much and uh, thanks for keeping our kids safe out there. Thank you. All right, and of course we always thank you for watching. I'm Ray Pedras and this is the McAllen Cable Network.